All right. Okay, before we get started, whose hat is this? Anybody? All right. Time for the program everybody's been waiting for, Secret Sex Talks. Woo! We really shouldn't be telling any of you any of this. So if you tell anyone, your parents, the head staff, we will be fired. So do not tell anyone. We will find you. We will end you. All right, everybody. Put your right hands on your heart and repeat after me. I will not tell anyone about secret sex talk. Josh, I'm cross your fingers. All right, let me hear you say it, everybody. Good. All right. Now, raise your hand if you have any questions. Shira, go. What does sex feel like? Um, it feels different for everyone. Just remember to be respectful of your partners. Exactly. If it doesn't feel good, you make sure you want to check in with your partner and change things so that it does. All right. Mike, what you got? Why are Becky's boobs so great? Mike, don't be an asshole. That being said, if you're a purveyor of fine art like I am myself, then all boobs are great. Oh my God, Steve, don't be a douche. Mike, everyone is growing at different rates right now and comments like that make people very uncomfortable. How would you like it if I started commenting on your ball size? Is that a thing? Isn't it? How would you like it if I started commenting on your ball size? It wouldn't feel very good, would it? Lewis, does masturbation make you blind? <laughs> no, it doesn't actually make you blind. Uh, the thing you want to remember the most though is definitely clean up after yourself. The only thing that over masturbation can do is perhaps a lower pheromone count, but definitely a good night's sleep. For the ladies in Bird's Cabin, that goes for us too. Masturbation is totally normal, except we don't need to worry about any cleanup. <sighs> Lucky. This last video is the most crass and explicit, but it's actually the most accurate. These kinds of questions were being asked by young people at camp, and 16-year-old counselors were doing their best to answer them. In reality, the answers given were not entirely correct and frequently reinforced gender stereotypes. When writing the scripts, we tried to balance the ideal with reality. For example, the Camp Clitoray clips are very clearly gendered because camp is still a very gendered space that frequently reinforces heteronormative expectations of what it means to be a boy or a girl. A lot of parents are uncomfortable with how often their kids are exposed to content with sexuality or content aimed at adults. Unfortunately for them, kids have questions and they're going to ask them as soon as they find an adult that they trust enough to ask or someone who they think is an adult. These shorts were a reimagining of these kinds of conversations, assuming camp counselors actually understood consent. From my conversations with young adults today, things are improving, but we've got a long way to go. With these videos, I aim to bridge the gap between education and entertainment and start a much needed conversation. And I'm an actor. Hey campers, these clips were inspired by season three of my podcast, Sex News with Ray. Season three is about sex and Judaism, and we dive deep into some of the cultural aspects of sexuality in Jewish spaces, like camp and youth groups. Sex News with Ray is currently on season five and is available through your favorite podcast.